love you. Yeah, that's the Tamar, dude. That's the Tamar bridge up there. So we are in Collie Town. We are back again for part two of trying to find the silver and tin mines. Last time we went from Denham Bridge down river, uh, tried to head towards, tried to head towards Lockwell Dam. We were following the bank down and we could not find the mine and we were completely bummed. So, so we have come to the other side of the river, on the other side of the ford. It's now low tide. This is a tidal river. So when we get there, uh, the tide is going to be completely out. So we're going to be able to walk across backwards and forwards, I'll have a little mess around and then we're going to go and hunt for these mines. Uh, I scoped the area out yesterday. I tied um, on the other side so I couldn't get across, it's about nearly six foot deep. So today's going to be completely different. I'll we'll have a look at the sign and we'll uh, see what the difference is. Right, okay, we've seen the river. That is the River Tavy, And as you can see the tide's out, so it's all just mud. It looks like salt oh, You're the size yeah. of this tree. Oh, look, you can see the other one that fell down, huh? Oh, there's a 4x4 four four coming. Awesome. Oh. Wicked. Woo. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's wicked. Absolutely tackling this, look. Awesome. Legend. I really like the way you said that. Right, okay, so we've made it to the bottom. Finally. The guy we've passed in that 4x4, he's, the, the path we've just been along, this bit here, is much, much easier. But the bit that he hasn't yet seen, the bit we've walked down, that was sketchy. I don't think I'd want to be doing that. We'll be interested to see if, uh, we're going to have lunch here now. We'll be interested to see if in the next 10 minutes he comes back. Uh, if he comes back, he's smart. If he doesn't come back, he's very brave. Oh my God, look. We can actually cross. Look at this thing, it's radical. Yeah, guys, not well down. Let's do it. Let's go across. Wow, so cool. So this is low tide. Oh, look at this. We, I didn't get to see any of this yesterday. Okay, so this is where I was yesterday, um, scoping this place out. So I'm just going to throw up a couple of photos of what this place looked like yesterday. And now look at this place, it's just insane. It's a uh, tidal, so obviously when the tide comes in, every six hours it comes in, and then back out again. So this sign here was like right under. The swans are still here, and this is uh, what it looked like from the other side. And the 4x4s uh, and the cars come down this way. So the boys now we're going to stop for lunch and have some food. Um, and then we're going to head out up here. Enough swan watching, swanning around. Let's go find this mine. Here it is. So, this would have been a track, the level that would have long, run along this hill from the mine. And you see the water's just down here. So, we're going to follow this and hopefully this will bring us to the adit. Are you sure it's that way? Absolutely right. <laughs> that really hurt, Charlie. You got Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that's cool, that's a big show. Quite that Yoda was in. <laughs> really, really good example of where you can see that this is not natural. This is on the edge of a bank and it comes around here and follows its way along. So this has all been man-made. Originally this would have had a track running in it from the mine, which we think is another few hundred meters along the, the river. 
we can hear the river just about down here. And this path, it would have cut around here, around this valley and would have gone around, the carts would have followed this, this track. Would have been pulled uh, with horse drawn wagons and stuff like that, so. Okay, all this evidence here, we're definitely in the right place. We're not far, I cannot wait. We're in Pheasant World. Yeah, do you know what we could find here? What? Guess what, I just realised what pheasants sound like. What? I reckon I can know. Remember that ball you used to have? Yeah. You shoot it, it went... <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, shall I put the... There's full of stuff in my bag. Oh, we're going to need some bounce. This looks like the path we took the other day. Imagine on the way back, there's still covered with water. Let me cross that back. Egg, the size of that thing. What the hell's that from? The size of that. What's it in, from? In comparison to my hand. The uh, a Canadian geese or something like that. Guys, if you know what it is, just tell us. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. Found the most significant thing so far. We found a flat ledge here, and there's water coming out, and it runs down this gap here. No experience, my mines are dug, they always trickle out. So we're gonna see if we can climb up here, see if we can find this thing. <laughs> it's not hard enough as it is. Charlie's chopping stuff up. I'm falling on the <sighs> All right. I found it. I said, guys, look at this place. I'm so, so overgrown here. Hang on. I can see a gap. Oh my god, we fucking found it. We bloody found it. Like, Did you want to take your backpack off? We got a bit of whack in bushes to do. So we were right, guys. We were right. There's a tunnel in here. Right next to this massive rock face, the size of this thing. Oh my god, I cannot believe we've bloody done it. Dude, we've done it. We've actually, uh, we've actually found it. There's no maps to this place. There's no, look, look, we're halfway up the hill as well. Look, the only real clue was that the water was trickling down, and there was a flat level at the bottom, which looked like it was a spoil pit. So let's smash our way in and see what we got. Find it, boys. There's no way someone's dug a hole in there. It isn't going to be long. That's going to be a level, that is. Do it for the wine gums. Here we go. We've done it, we found a silver mine. Yes. Good. Oh. Okay, we done it. I am so happy. It's the part two and we finally done it. This is uh this is Lockwell mine. Get us of sugar energy before we go in the darkness. So, uh, so this is Lockwell Mine. As you can see from the entrance, we just have to clear that. I don't think anyone's been in this mine for at least 15, 20 years. I mean, there were no real paths to get up here. I mean, it's just a crazy spot, isn't it? I can't believe we found this, how lucky. So we are absolutely stoked. So we're gonna two seconds, finish our sweets, then we're gonna get in. Okay, it's here we go. Bright. It's probably brighter than the one Charlie shot. I always get the light that's always the brightest. Oh my God, What do you think? Yeah, I will get my feet wet. Cause it looks scarier than I thought. Scary. Wow. I wonder how far it's gonna go. I wonder how big this one is. It's gonna be small. It gets really thin. Oh wow. Okay, right. Let's do this. Got about four and a half, five feet tall. Wow, that's probably narrow. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, boys, it just goes on and on and on. Wow. Oh, that's a big spider. 
passage again so that's straight ahead we're gonna go straight ahead but I just want to have a quick look up this one as well to see where this one goes that's a really cool static mice here as well look at these can we go yeah you can go go I'll follow Charlie through this one okay here we go wow look at this it just goes everywhere so we're kind of going back on ourselves now up there. Is that? Yeah. Is it? Wow, shine it up there, Chop. Oh, wow, look at that. It does go up. Can you fit through this? I think I can. Let's see if I can fit through there. Okay, right, let's have a little look then. Here with some stuff in it. Mm. No, not yet, hang on. Oh, wow. There's a whole nother level, a whole nother tunnel up here. Boys, we have found Lockbound Mine big time. Enough to explore on our main channel. So let's head back to uh, where the, the main line was that we came in on Next with the water time. in it, and then we'll come back and we'll do these because uh, we don't want to get too carried away. So let's head back to the main line, see if that one. Uh, cuts off and if it does then we'll, uh, we'll come back and explore some of these side routes. How are we going to get down? You slide your bum like you did on the way up. Okay right heading back down to the main line. Okay, like a mouse. <laughs> okay right. All right let's carry on. A bit more silty here. Oh, it's very muddy here. This stuff is super, super muddy. The way it moves, it's disgusting. Right, okay. Whoa, okay, I lost my shoe a bit there. It's getting dry, I thought we can get this. It's just a minging slime. Yeah, I can see it again. Oh my god, there's an amazing stalactite up here. Okay. I'm not sure about this. My shoes are not stuck. It's disgusting, isn't it? Fine, another six steps and we're good. Look at this. Look at this, it's incredible. Oh, look at that. Right, when you get past here, boys, don't touch these, okay? Huh? 
Filthy, huh? Okay, we're back into the dry stuff now. My back hurts. I've been pinned down for so long. Ah. Oh, wow, look. It's the face. We've made it to the face, that's it. I've got my shoes before I put them in the water. Oh my god, that's so bad. Okay, so we've come right to the end. Okay, so it goes in about, just say, 150 metres, 200 metres, and then it, halfway through it bears a left and a right. So you jabbing me with... Here they are. There's the face, so... That's the face of the main line that we found, or the main level. I've locked that down, but we know that there's a, not by mine, but we know that there's a few less than the right. So we're going to go back to that joint, maybe go up. Um. Let's have a look. Okay, all right, we're back at the joint. So we're going to head, this one is empty. This one was the one that was sort of fallen in, caved in a little bit with the water coming down. So we're going to head through the one that looks clearer and goes up to the next level. Okay, we're good, we're good. You're supposed to take the top one in, but you only take the bottom one in. Okay. He's kissing. Nattering away. I just had that open. Doesn't shake this one. Looks like this ham. Oh, wow! Is that silver? Oh, yeah. Keep going then, guys. We found silver. You reckon? Yeah, it's been done. What is found his leg? Shh, 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 guys, can you keep the voices down? So I'd rather be going first so I can see what we're walking into. Charlie Chuck. Oh, 
that's definitely the next, yeah. It goes all the way up. It's like another level. You can see it all the way up there, right? And then there's another gap here. Yeah, it's better. It's definitely better. Look. There's another. Yeah. This is a path here that would have gone up to the next level. Rubble's all come down. Yeah. Let's see what the boys are looking at. Get ready to go. God, actually looking at it from this angle, you can see that would have been a shaft or something going down. You can see this. Right, that's it, guys. I think we've uh, we explored the main channel. We've come up to the next level up to see what was up here. You see the big vein. Are we going to go through the water? We can head through the back to the crossroads. And maybe we'll go, as we're walking into the mine, we'll hang a right, and then we'll see what's up there. That's all with the waterfall and stuff. Oh what's the stuff coming from the way here? Jesus Christ. The more I look at it, the more fun this gets you. We've got to get through it, come boys. That's the entrance. That's where we just come from. This boggy, muddy pit was the, uh, the face, the main line. So we're gonna hang right now. Now we have a choice, guys. We can either get up or we can go left and stay on this level. It's a bit of a collapse here. That's why the, uh, we have to crawl and we'll collapse close to the ceiling. But that collapse could have come from material that's being pushed down from above. So the above is right where Ollie's going and then there's a path to the left. Are you going to see where the water's coming from? Or do you want to go along the level where it might be? I don't know how much water's going to be in there? Oh, it's a dead end. Is it a dead end? Do you want to have a look around the side? Oh. Is it a dead end? Yeah. Can you see to the side there, Charlie? There's nothing around that corner, yeah? yeah. Okay, right, that's. So this line then, if you imagine before this cave in from up here, this would have been all clear, this one here, all the way to uh, the crossroads. So I guess our only option is to go up, right? Look straight up, isn't it? Really? Is it? Yeah. Okay, right, I'm gonna pass the camera to Wally because he's already made it up there. We're gonna have a little look and see what we got. Hey Chuck, you want to pass this one up? Okay. Okay. As you can see. So that's yeah, just. Be careful, it's water. Yeah, uh, up there, it's, there's nothing up there. Where's the water come from? It just comes out the rock, does it? Uh, the water? Comes out from the other Is it any, any higher than you? Mm. Rocks. The water comes from down there and there. Alright, here comes Charlie. He's coming down from this horrible hole. Yeah, so I double check this one. As Charlie said, this one is um, just a storage unit, a storage area. And this one's the same. It's actually dry. The water doesn't travel this way at all. It's just a little storage area. Can you shine a light? Yeah, baby. You just jump on to me to give you a hand. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, I guess that's it. But, uh, we've done all of the crossroads. We found all the faces. Yeah. This is like a little storage area here to the right. That would have been like a little shaft or something up there, but that one's blocked in now. Uh, we went left. Um, that one had what looked like a winds that went down to another level, but that was all blocked. And there was another level going up, even higher. 
Um, and when we went straight along the line, that was just a that was just a dead end face. So obviously they cracky Moses that scared me. Obviously they spent a lot of time digging this and realised there wasn't enough mineral coming out. But we are only in uh, Lockwell Mine, which means that we've still got Woods Mine, which is slightly further up river. But that will probably be a part three because we are absolutely exhausted. Right, let's get out of this hole. We've got to hike back to uh, Lockwell Dam. It's going to be quite a mission because it was impossible to find this. <laughs> Okay, right, we made it out. This is what it looks like. We can't walk straight that way because there's a drop, so we have to come along this way to the side. <laughs> These boys. We're right on the edge of a cliff. Look at this thing. How would anyone find this? Incredible. Someone's put all that effort in coming here and digging all this out and just everything. And we're just in the middle of nowhere. But you can see all this is spoil. We could tell this is spoil as we're coming up. There are a few other clues. Guys, what were the other clues that we... Uh, water. The water coming out of the mine. Smell. Uh, huh? Smell. And the smell. We can, we can smell a mine. There is a certain smell to a damp, dark, cold mine. And we, we can smell that for sure. And the boys were like, we can smell it. And with all this spoil here that's been pushed out of the mine, we knew we were on the marker. We knew we could find it. Right, yeah. so we apologise for anyone who watched part one. It was a nice little walk down the river in our wetsuits, but we didn't find anything. Hopefully we've redeemed it. This is a Lockwell mine, part two. Oh, we done it. This is not a fun pass. This is how we, uh, this is how we got to the mine. The, Charlie, what's your language? What? Ollie fell in. Look, yeah. it's still clean. It is, yeah. Magic. Ollie fell in, got oh. absolutely wrecked. Hello. And we made it. We're back to the sign for Lockwell. We made it, Chop. We got some tired legs. We got to head high back to the car now. But it was an absolute success. We have found Lockwell Mine. Look at the state of us. We're all absolutely filthy. Look. Just, uh... If you like and subscribe and follow our Instagram, I don't have much else to say. Bye.